A St. Louis startup is using Microsoft HoloLens for a 3D augmented reality experience in the operating room. The company Centiar created software to improve visualization in cardiac surgeries and other interventional procedures. The technology was developed at Washington University in St. Louis by a husband and wife team, pediatric cardiologist Dr. Jennifer Silva and Dr. Jonathan Silva, assistant professor of biomedical engineering. The 3D augmented reality platform features real-time holographic visualization of the patient's anatomy. Centiar is a Washington University spin-out developing the first 3D visualization platform for interventional surgeries where the patient is closed. Our initial focus is on catheter ablations treating cardiac arrhythmia, and we allow clinicians with Microsoft HoloLens to actually see that patient's anatomy floating over them for that procedure, including catheter placement in there. Dr. John Silva, biomedical engineering professor at Washington University, was invited up in 2015 to Microsoft with a group of academics to look at the Microsoft HoloLens. His wife, Dr. Jen Silva, is a pediatric cardiologist and, and an electrophysiologist at St. Louis Children's, and it clicked right there that she could use this in an interventional procedure, he could build that, and all of his background was in cardiac arrhythmia and developing for that, and it was the perfect team to build this within Washington University over the past two years. We are building software that converts electroanatomic data. The way that it works right now is that a catheter will be placed in, and that catheter is going into the body, into the heart, and is bouncing off the wall of the heart to create an image. It's going to build the cardiac model. That model will be transposed onto a two-dimensional screen and they call that 3D electroanatomic mapping. We're a translator, a converter of data into an anatomical model that is right in front of the clinician because that clinician today cannot control what they see. A clinician is looking at four, five, seven screens at one time trying to build a model in their head. So what we do is we convert 3D electroanatomic data that's on a 2D screen and we take that and convert that into a true three-dimensional model with depth perception, which does not exist currently today. They have full control, so they're sitting there spinning the heart, they're measuring the heart, they're opening the heart with their fingers just like this. They're enlarging the heart if they want to, and they see where their catheters are coming in in real time, because through the Microsoft HoloLens, there's a number of things they can do with voice commands or just with hand gestures that they can't do currently. And that allows them to have control as opposed to someone in a corner and that's what happens now. Can you turn it to the left? Can you turn it to the right? The issue though is that you and I could be doing this procedure together and we're two electrophysiologists. That 3D model that we create in our mind is not gonna be the same. This will allow us to each wear our set of Microsoft HoloLens and see the same thing from different perceptions. The prototype was developed, so it's our software on the Microsoft HoloLens. That's the product itself, and what is called the software device. And that device was used on patients in a parallel test where we're looking at metrics that are latency, frame rates, just to make sure that the hologram is essentially going to be the same lapse of time as the other data that's provided today, so that it's going to be equivalent. So granted, it'll be better visualization, but it has to be equivalent on how fast that data gets there. The result and our intention is a faster, safer procedure, and for the patient, a more precise procedure. And this ultimately would provide the next dimension in clinical practice and interventional procedures.